Hi, you are watching The Savera. This is Amar Pal Singh. As elections are approaching on in Punjab, the elections are to be held on June 1. All parties have in, intensified their campaigning. Today, we are having with us Charan Singh Sapra, AICC spokesperson. He is here in Ludhiana and campaigning here for Amrinder Singh Raja Vading. Sir, welcome to The Savera. Thank you. Sir, so today you addressed a press conference here in Ludhiana. What are the key issues you highlighted here? The key issues, obviously, uh, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he was in Punjab yesterday and even today he's in Punjab. Majorly, he should have addressed the issues of farmers. He should have spoken about Modi's guarantee on MSP. But unfortunately, Prime Minister has not spoken a word about it. And in fact, the Prime Minister has been talking on all the irrelevant things just to divert the attention of the people of Punjab. People of Punjab, basically the farmers, they want a guarantee for MSP, which BJP is not ready to give. They want the inflation to go down. They want the unemployment issue to be resolved. But the Prime Minister doesn't want to talk on all these issues. Unfortunately, he never mentioned during his 40-minute speech yesterday in Patiala, he never mentioned Shubkaran Singh. He never mentioned the 750 uh, farmers who died in a span of one year. He never bothered to talk about any issues of these farmers. So this is deplorable. The Prime Minister should assure whether he's going to give the guarantee or not. Secondly, the Prime Minister should also ensure that why is BJP leaders, why are they saying that we want char so par? And they are openly saying that ki 400 par they want to change the constitution. Whether it is Jyoti Mirda or whether it is other leaders, Arun Govil and Anand Kumar Hegde and uh, Rajasthan Deputy Chief Minister Diya Kumari, they all have been saying that they want to change the constitution. That's why they want 400 par. So Prime Minister should come clear on that. Prime Minister should come clear on reservations. Prime Minister should come clear whether BJP wants to change the constitution or not. Secondly, Prime Minister tried to show in his Patiala speech that Congress has a soft corner for Pakistan. I would like to remind him that it is BJP, RSS and the Hindu Mahasabha who always had a soft corner for uh, Pakistan. Right starting from 1942-43, Fazlul Haq's government was joined by Mr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee. He was the finance minister. It was Shama Prasad Mukherjee who supported the two-nation theory of Fazlul Haq. And finally, the country got divided. It was Atal Bihari Vajpayee who started the Lahore bus and he went to Minare, Pakistan. It was Lal Krishan Adwani who went to Jinnah's tomb. He bowed down there and said that Jinnah is a secular leader. It was Narendra Modi in 2014 who called Nawaz Sharif for his swearing-in ceremony. It was Narendra Modi who went without an invite to Pakistan to greet Nawaz Sharif on his birthday. So what is Narendra Modi talking about? It was Narendra Modi in whose government uh, uh, the ISI was given a red carpet welcome at Pathan Court. It was Narendra Modi and PDP's government in Jammu and Kashmir in which 10,000 stone pelters, their cases were withdrawn and the FIR was put on Major Aditya Kumar. So these are various cases which show that BJP is hand in gloves with Pakistan. And they are hand in gloves. They, they have office bearers who have been found guilty of uh, being connected to Pakistan agencies like Niranjan Hijoy from uh, Assam, like uh, Dhruv Saxena from Madhya Pradesh. He was the IT cell chief of Bharatiya Janata Party. And similarly, Nasir Hussain, who was caught along with DYSP Devinder Singh in Jammu and Kashmir, that Nasir Hussain has, had contested uh, assembly seat on BJP's ticket. So BJP has a large connection with Pakistan. They are their hand in close with them and they are trying to put the blame on Congress party. In 2017, when uh, uh, in MP there was BJP rule, uh, Shivra Singh Johan was CM, several farmers were killed in the protest. And uh, now in Punjab, what is the ideology of BJP? You think uh, how they are uh, working uh, for the farmers? BJP is basically anti-farmer. They just want to hand over the agriculture sector to the industrialists. They want everything to go into the hands of Adani and Ambani. 
and they don't want the poor farmers to flourish they want the poor farmers to be the slaves of crony capitalism so, uh, congress is facing an allegation of a double phase uh, that is they are contesting against aam aadmi party in punjab and outside punjab they are together what you want to say about it see in punjab it's well known that the people of punjab they have given a mandate to congress party to be in opposition we have our opposition leader we are the number two party and we are executing our responsibility as the opposition leader when the people have given us a mandate to be in opposition how can we support the aam aadmi party in punjab we cannot so we are respecting the mandate which the people of punjab have given us congress candidate from chandigarh manish tiwari has said that uh, the Oh, they he talked about uh, sit, uh, Chandigarh city model. What is con- uh, st- stand of Congress on it? No, I feel uh, Manish Tiwari ji has made uh, a separate sort of manifesto. He has plans for Chandigarh, and uh, let us see what happens. It is a long planning. It is nothing which can happen in one or two days. and uh, let us see after the election how things shape up so it was the issue the long pending issue that chandigarh will be given to punjab and now manish tiwari is talking about uh, making chandigarh a separate city see anything cannot be done only with a stroke of pen there is a legislation there is a constitution we have to see the framework of the constitution which can be seen post election what are the major issues of punjab you are saying today and uh, how you will take up major issues of punjab are the msp of the farmers uh, the input cost should reduce the output sh- uh, cost should increase the profit should increase and the farmers should get their profit then comes the youth of punjab they need jobs employment then the inflation the inflation has to reduce today everything is skyrocketing so these are the major issues of people of punjab of course the health sector is there the education sector is there everything needs to be updated where congress stand as of now as few days are left for the election congress in punjab definitely we are winning the maximum number of seats we will be the number one party in punjab and even in india the india gathbandhan will make the government on 4th june thank you sir for giving uh, your precious time so you are watching the savera amarpal singh with cameraman manoj siddhu